Over the past few decades, a crack group of veterans were sent out into their communities by a military discharge for service they completed. These men promptly escaped from post-military solitude into the Southern Illinois mainstream. Today, funded by many local organizations, they survive as positive contributors to society. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can keep up with them, maybe you can hire the Vet Team. Chuck Norris and Captain America had a love child, they would name it John Orkerson. John, man, I really, really appreciate you. Appreciate what you've done for my family. I appreciate what you've done for myself. I really appreciate what you've done with this community. Uh, I entered at RWB about four years ago. I just kind of wandered into the gym there in Harrisburg uh, for a wad with Warriors. Didn't know much about it. Um, weighed 220 pounds. Had no idea what uh, what I was involved for, so um, I was a little nervous. But you were the first face that I saw, and you were willing to do jump boxes with me. You were willing to run around the gym with me. Uh, you were willing to do the push-ups with me. Um, one of the things you said um, about two minutes in was, "Hey, we're going to do this together. Uh, we're going to get through this together." And John, man, that's been you uh, this whole this whole time, this, all four years that I've known you. Um, you never leave anyone uh, out there by themselves. You're willing to do it. You're willing to go all in. Um, whether it's crazy ideas like running ultras that you haven't even trained for, you just thought, hey, let's just do it. Uh, we're gonna do this together. Um, but, you, but you've been all in uh, with good ideas and bad ideas like turkey bacon at a camping trip for veterans. Um, even though that was a bad idea, you're still all in. You were all in about that, about that turkey bacon. Um, so man, I have um, grown a lot in who I am. Um, I've experienced things um, coming out of the, the Marine Corps um, with RWB that I've never, never experienced uh, ever, like camaraderie, um, friendship, joy, um, laughter. Um, so man, I really, really appreciate you. I appreciate it for everything you've done. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what this year brings. Uh, with RWB and, um, and give my family more involved. So, 
Hey John, I just wanted to take a minute to uh, thank you for everything you've done for us. You were one of the first people to kind of welcome us to this community and kind of make my family feel like we belong here. Um, all the events, all the support that you've given over the last few years have really meant a lot. So I hope you never change. I'm so glad and thankful to be part of your life and have you as part of ours. Hey John, what's up brother? How's it going? Just want to take a minute, drop this, tell you how appreciative I am of you, everything that you've taught me, all I've learned from you, especially about leadership and uh, just being a better person. You really lead by example and you are a living testament of the efficacy of good leadership and what a true leader is, man. Uh, we've had some great times together. We've had some not so great times together but I've appreciated all of them. First time I met you in person, you had just rolled a freaking tire from the VFW up to the CrossFit gym, and uh, you just laid out in the parking lot. I'm like, yeah, I can get behind this dude, but uh, I've had some good times CrossFit and rucking, doing a little bit of everything. So uh, you deserve this, man, and I'm really thankful that I could be a part of it. Love you, brother. Hey, it's Cassie. We just all wanted to take a few minutes and let you know how much you mean to us and how much we appreciate the time that you put towards Team RWB. Um, one of my favorite things about you is that you are always cheerful, you've always got a smile, you're so energetic and always so willing to encourage other people. You let us know that no matter where we are in life, what our situation is, what our physical condition is, we can always do something to better ourselves, we can always get moving, and make any bad mood go away. We just get out there and move. So thank you for that encouragement. And with that example, you let us know that no matter where we are in life, we can encourage others too. So thank you so much. And thank you for um, donating all your time that you spend away from your family. So we appreciate you. John Okerson, since I got to know you for these last few years, I think we've really developed a bond, a family bond. You've been to all my family functions. You've been to a couple of birthday parties of mine, vice versa. You've met everyone in my family. You've always been there for me through my rough times. You've been there for me through my good times. You've been there for me even when I was out of my mind and needed help. You've always been there for me. I hope our friendship means just as much to you as it does to me. I'll always think of you as family. And I appreciate everything you've done for me, everything you've done for my daughter, my family. You've always been welcoming. Southern Illinois wouldn't be the same without you. Hey, John. I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you for all you do for Team RWB Marion. And I'm very thankful that we have become such close friends and seem almost more like family. I know we're very busy and oftentimes... Maybe our gratitude isn't shown as much as we would like it to be, so I'm super pumped that this idea has been brought up and we're going to take some time to honor you and what you do for all of us. Thanks. So one of my very first my very first memory of John is when and where I met John is when I went to uh, to a fishing event around like Fourth of July weekend a couple years ago. Um, had a bunch of RWB members and stuff. I remember Cassie was there and different things. And, but when I showed up, um, it, it's instantly when I showed up there, I was kind of like one of the younger veterans, like one of the only ones that's in school at the time. And I had just pretty much been out, been out of the military less than like a year. And so going to this event, it was just very weird. And I seen all these more older veterans there. And instantly it kind of felt more like out of place a little bit. And, one sense. Well, as soon as I show up there and I go to introduce myself to John, because I've been emailing John for like a week, a couple weeks there, and he was the one that told me to go to this event. Instantly, as soon as I showed up, he just welcomed me with big open arms, just grabbed him, just hugged me, and just was like, oh, like this is Nathan, like, and just introduced me to about everyone there. And instantly, I was just pretty much hooked by his, re the way he acted, the way he forced to force me to talk to people and be other people to talk to me and it was just an awesome time. I had a great day that time. And then not even uh, like next week and this is this is why I never like to listen to John because next week 
he was like, hey, uh, what are you doing, uh, like, in two weeks? And I was like, what am I doing, like, two weekends? It was like in, and I was like, uh, oh, this weekend. I'm like, oh, I, sh- I shouldn't be doing anything. Not thinking of anything of it, just I'm not doing anything. Next thing he was like, hey, you want to go for a run uh, with me and Rebecca and, and uh, Abby? We want to do this, like, running event, and we need someone. Yeah, sure, why not? Like, I don't know what it is. He just told me that we're going to be running in, like, Paducah. So there enough, then I go running in Paducah, find out that it's an overnight run, and next thing you know, I am running from 10 o'clock in the morning at night to like 6 in the morning with three other people that I've only met like one time, and embracing the suck, just running. We ran like 32 miles that night. It was completely awful. The next day, I, I the next day I went home and I took like a hot bath I was out for like the whole day and my knees I felt like were shot but that was like one of my favorite memories one of my best memories and I always love that just because he was like hey and even though he only met me once he was like let's what are you doing and it was an awesome time um I really cherish our friendship I mean he's been um, a great mentor as well looking up um, I enjoy asking him for help for questions he's been helping me with like my research and stuff like that and if anything if I ever need I know he's he's there for me if I need anything um, he's there instantly um, he's introduced me to so many other great people through RWB and it's awesome to call RWB a family and it's all because of how he started it for me hey homie wow I really don't know where to start Let's see, I first met John at the gym. I attended one of his fitness classes, and I was like, wow, this guy is crazy and hard and fun, and I loved it. And then I recently attended, after that, a WOD on Veterans Day that he did, and I left there with an instant friend. Quickly, he grew into one of my best friends. I'm sorry, I'm really not good at videos, but, you know, I really love you, John, so I'm really trying. (laughs) I'm really grateful for his friendship and everything that he does for our community and all the veterans. He's definitely made a positive impact on me and my family. We have covered a lot of distance together with lots of laughs and concussing over his hammies along the way. There's never a dull moment when Okerson is around. Anyway, love you, bro. And turtles, watch out! Many people ask me all the time why I called John first sergeant. Uh, It's out of respect. In the military you have ranks and you do that and when someone earns that rank you are very open to the possibility that that it's not about the person, it's about the position. And uh, John, when I first met him, I knew that he was one that I would follow and I would do anything for. And with Team RWB, it's one of those organizations that goes beyond just fundraising, goes beyond um, just the fun part. It's a family and uh, it changed my life. John changed my life and I was able to really accept being a veteran and I was able to be able to be myself and it's empowered me and I hope that he continues to do that same thing for other veterans and I know he will uh, because that's just his energy. But I owe a lot to John, I love the guy uh, and I wish him the best and uh, RWB is very, very grateful and very beneficial for having him a part of it. Cheers John. First Sergeant. I met John through one of the team RWB events when I was just participating in a run. It might have been the 9-11 run uh, when Ryan was still doing the, uh, I guess he was the chapter captain. Um, I thought he was a little crazy because he had on some silk shorts and I don't think the weather was that great, but overall I thought he was hilarious. I think he sets a phenomenal example for people across the board. Um, Whether it's part of the veteran community or the civilian community, he has a way of bringing everybody together and knows how to have a good time. Obviously doesn't have any problem trying to make a fool out of himself to get his point across. I think he represents and embodies what that means to be um, a leader, um, not just from his military experience, but just what he presents and doesn't know a stranger, is quick to include anybody the moment they walk in the door doesn't isolate or single out just one person he's just just a family man and just I I can't say anything negative about him because just a positive person and the perfect person for this job and and does it for free and gives up all of his time to do that and I just think that that is just 
an amazing, amazing feat. I don't know when the man sleeps, to be honest with you. John, I hope you stick around for as long as possible because I feel like if you go away, it may be some of the camaraderie and the participation might disappear because you're constantly striving to get us to do more and to push ourselves more and to put ourselves out there and get out of our comfort zone and, and that is a positive attribute to what you bring to our group. So I hope that you're around for many years and if you become mayor of Harrisburg that you don't forget the little people and still do everything that you do for us as a group and the community as a whole. to save the land of the